that's Amy from prettypurpledoor.com and um, I've been getting a lot of questions about my penny floor lately and uh, I installed it in 2012 and a lot of you have been asking exactly what it looks like now that it's 2018 and it's been in here for almost six years. So I'm just going to use a little video to give you an idea. Um, here's the floor so you could see it uh, from my living room. And you can see that there are some spots. I mean, this doesn't really bother me. It's been six years. But if you go, th I'm going to just kind of pan through here. You can see um, here is basically where it gets the most wear and tear, uh, right up here in this area. And you can see that some of the pennies are discolored. I mean, it's not perfect. But the polyurethane has, has not really screwed up at all. It's got a coating on it, it's a nice coating. And some of this, uh, honestly, I didn't even clean this before I made this video, so some of it is actually just probably some dirt. But all in all, I think that this area here is probably the worst of it. So here you can see, oh, look at that guy. This was a mistake while I was grouting. I kind of sunk him in and some of it's grout. Um, you guys get really, really particular about how it's going to look, and I love your attention to detail, but I guess I just don't have it, <laughs> and uh, this doesn't bother me. I mean, this it's, it's the effect of the whole floor more so than these actual individual little spots here. So um, I'm just going to kind of slowly go through here and show you. And, you know, this is the center and it looks completely fine you can see and you can see my little lines here i mean i used if i kind of back up a little bit uh if you can see these lines here and this was my mistake while doing the penny template this doesn't have to happen like this with the with the square lines it's just i i kind of made the i made the mesh a little too wide and, and when i was installing it i I didn't really take any of that into account. If I were to do it again, I probably would have uh, made the mesh uh, 12 by 12 squares. I would have made them maybe 11 and 3 quarter by 11 and 3 quarter so that when you're overlapping the two, you don't get that seam as, as a lot of you call it. And, uh, you know, that's not, that's not because of the mosaic. That's because, like I said, I don't have that crazy attention to detail and um, you know it was the first first go at this so so here you have it here's my floor and uh, yeah so I'm gonna step back a little bit again just so you can see the full effect of it from this is, this is my living room and and it looks nice and shiny it's still shiny and cool looking there are just those couple areas, like I said, along here and then along the front. But I think that it adds character and I kind of enjoy that. I, I really like that about it. And if you can hear Quincy, here's a little preview of my Quincy boy. Hi, Quince. He's insulted that I'm not paying attention to him. So there you go. Okay. Um, so yeah, just uh, let me know if you have any more questions and I hope that helps.